And North Korea's foreign minister is in Manila for a meeting of the ASEAN member nations. Though he remained tight-lipped about whether he'll meet with a South Korean counterpart, he's to promote the regime's nuclear development plans at a meeting of foreign ministers from the six-party denuclearization talks. Connie Kim reports from Manila. The foreign minister of the world's most reclusive regime, North Korea's Lee Yong-ho, arrived in Manila early Sunday morning to join the ASEAN Regional Forum, where eyes will be on who he meets with and what message he has to deliver from North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. Considering that the ARF is the only multilateral forum Pyongyang takes part in, Lee has received the most attention from the press who are waiting for him at the airport and at his hotel, though Lee had little to say. With North Korea pushing ahead with its nuclear ambitions, speculation is growing that the senior North Korean official will defend and promote the regime's weapons development and dismiss Washington's call on fellow members to isolate Pyongyang diplomatically by suspending it from Asia's biggest security forum. This year's forum is all the more unfavorable for North Korea as it comes on the heels of the UN Security Council's unanimous adoption of a resolution imposing the most punishing sanctions yet on Pyongyang for its two ballistic missile launches capable of reaching the continental U.S. It also comes as a joint statement by the Southeast Asian foreign ministers expressed grave concerns about rising tensions on the Korean peninsula stemming from North Korea's long-range missile tests. It seems there is no way for Minister Lee to avoid being the most isolated foreign minister at this year's forum as well. Though at the same time, he'll be the center of the press as he will hang on his every word to determine North Korea's plans of its future missile and nuclear development, as well as Kim Jong-un's future policy directions. Connie Kim, Arirang News, Manila.